America's pastime is, was, and always will be shooting. Hello everyone, Finn and Flask here. So today I'm doing another episode of my Mastering the Basics series. And today we're going to be talking about nipples, cones, whatever you want to call them. So basically, there's a couple different types of cones, nipples that are out there. And with the shortages of caps these days, it's worth knowing a couple things. So first thing I'll do is I'll show you the basics of the nipples themselves. Before we get into the meat of the video, if you wish to support the channel, you should check out my eBay store where I sell muzzle loading accessories. It'll be linked in the description. Here is a stock Pieta nipple that's supposed to fit on revolvers, okay? If you notice, the end where the, nipple, uh, the cap goes on is actually quite tapered. You can't really see it. And it's got just a tiny little hole for the fire to come through. This is not exactly a slick shot nipple, but it's very similar to a slick shot nipple, which is made for revolvers. It has holes drilled in it like that, so that it helps bust the cap. And when it's busted, it doesn't fall into the action. So this is essentially the same as a slick shot nipple. And here is an original 18th century nipple that came off of my Wesley Richards shotgun. You can see it's got a big hole in it. And on the inside, on the bottom, it's really big and wide. Not that really small hole that's in the modern nipples. And here is a musket cap nipple from my Belgian shotgun. See, it's got a small hole like that, and it's got a much bigger nipple for the cap because musket caps are much bigger. See the difference in size? Much smaller. With all the shortages on caps these days, and further in the future, there may not be as many issues with caps. It's a good thing to understand nipples because these days, it seems to be quite a bit easier to find musket caps than percussion caps, especially number 10 caps. It seems as though Remington number 10 caps, the common uh, revolver cap, is very hard to come by. So it's good to know that you can actually change nipples. When it comes to revolvers, though, I don't believe that you can actually get away with uh, putting musket caps on them. They're just too big. It doesn't make any sense. But I'll show you the basics. So the cap, the nipples are basically measured. The thread size is measured by the diameter and how many threads per inch. Okay, so you can figure that out yourself. Or on Track of the Wolf, they generally have the information on what size nipple should be available to you uh, based on the common guns that are out there. So there's Pieta nipples available, there's Petersoli nipples available, Traditions and all that stuff, so that you can actually switch to musket caps with your long arms, which is something that I suggest people doing these days. From what I understand, the reason why the nipples on the bottom facing the powder are different than they were back in the day, you know, in the 18th century, is because the caps of today are a lot more the caps of today are a lot more consistent than the ones from the 18th century. So they wanted to have as much powder get into the cone as possible. But it also had an issue with blowback. So it could blow back the hammer a bit. And that's not a good thing. So these right here, the modern ones, have just a tiny hole. And that helps with blowback. Because there's not enough space for the fire from the ignition to get back up into the end of the cone. When cleaning your rifle, shotgun, or revolver, you should always remove your cap, uh, your nipples. So one of the things that you really need is a nipple wrench. So if you have revolvers, you need to get a revolver wrench. They're slightly smaller. If you have long arms from like number 11 caps, the wrench is a little longer. And musket caps have a completely different size as well. 
this is just a collapsible one that I have that I put in my bag. I can't find my high-end one, you know, my much stronger one. But, so you need one for each. So if you are going to upgrade your long arm to a musket cap, which is much better for hunting in my opinion, you really need to get a different wrench for that as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little introductory video into understanding percussion nipples. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. And don't forget to check out all my other content. I have a cooking channel, I have a fly fishing channel, and of course this channel as well. Thank you very much for watching.